Uh, we're going to talk about tennis elbow. Um, I've got a model of the arm uh, bones and uh, this here is called the humerus and here's the elbow joint and just this bony prominence on the outer end of the elbow is called the lateral epicondyle and there's a tendon that attaches to this bone which in, uh, is involved in the extension movement of the wrist and this is the muscle that comes into play when a tennis player plays a backhand stroke and it was thought originally that only tennis players got tennis elbow when this tendon got inflamed over the lateral epicondyle. It's also called lateral epicondylitis. This condition affects non-tennis players as well as tennis players and it's usually self-limiting, which means that the condition often settles without treatment and might just require simple analgesia when, um, when it's transient. However, there are some patients who suffer with tennis elbow for longer periods and can be quite uh, debilitated by the pain. And in such cases, uh, the, uh, the conventional treatment is to inject steroids to the tendon at its attachment to the bone. You can also have injections of PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma, or blood injections, or sometimes what's called as dry needling, when you just have the needle inserted into the tendon several times. In exceptional cases, um, patients require more than one injection, and if they're requiring three, to more, three, or, uh, three or more injections, then surgery um, becomes necessary. And this surgery is done as a day case procedure, where through a small cut on the side of the elbow, the tendon is released from the bone. The success rate from surgery is about 80%, and uh, this, uh, the results can take up to one year um, to determine. Uh, the operation can also be done through a keyhole surgery uh, as a day case procedure.